Welcome to part two. Of course, you can always make your own digital product, which will require no upfront investment and no need for any delivery or storage. Once you've made one ebook, you can sell it an infinite number of times and through an automated process with no need to handle anything personally. This also gives you complete freedom over what you sell specifically and how you want to market and price it. Just keep in mind you're going to have to create the product yourself of course and that means you'll need to invest a little time up front or hire someone to create it for you. Another way to sell digital products where you get complete control and all of the profit is by using PLR packages. PLR stands for Private Label Rights. This is essentially a product you buy with the sole intention of selling it on. But the good news is that all the work will already have been done for you here, which includes not only the creation of the product, but also the creation of numerous marketing materials such as sales copies, freebies that you can use to attract attention and more. Some of these will essentially be an entire ready-made sales funnel. And this means that all you literally have to do is to copy and paste an existing business model in order to make money. Another option is drop shipping. And this is essentially somewhere between selling your own physical product and selling an affiliate product. A drop shipping company is basically any company that will allow you to sell their products and then pass that sale on to them. They will then pay you a cut typically more than regular affiliate commission for digital products, as they essentially act as wholesalers, which means generally sort of a 50-50 split, and will handle everything from the packaging to the fulfilment to any complaints they may have from their customers. The best part? A lot of dropshipping companies are happy to white label. This means they operate like silent partners, never promoting their brand to your end user. You can sell your products online and create the impression that you're working as a regular online store. The company will deliver the product on your behalf, but it will look as though it's come from you. Better yet, some of these companies will even go so far as to allow you to tweak the product or to redesign it. That means you can have your own logo on it or even create something entirely new from scratch. A perfect example of this might be selling a supplement. Here, the drop shipping company will let you choose the formulation and will let you put your own brand on the pot. From there, you can sell the product to your audience and the company will send it out each time you pass the sale on to them. Customers will never know you didn't create it in your very own factory. In short, this is the perfect way to have your cake and eat it too. Find drop shipping companies through sites like Alibaba.com or use Google and search for white label drop shipping in your chosen industry. And you can see I'm using supplements as an example here, and there are about 28,900 results. So there's quite a lot of people out there. POD means print on demand, and we're going to use that term a little loosely. However, the basic idea is that you can sell a product without having to order huge amounts of stock and then hope you manage to sell them. That's because POD products get created automatically each time you make a sale and often will get delivered too. Normally, POD is a term that is used in the publishing industry to describe an alternative to traditional publishing methods. Rather than an author having to find a publisher willing to take a big risk on them by ordering thousands of books and then trying to sell them, POD allows the author to upload their files to a printer and then sell the books directly online. Each time you make a sale, it gets sent to the printing company, the printer automatically prints out and binds the book and delivers it to the buyer. This means there's zero risk for anyone involved, but you can still sell a physical hard copy book. Amazon offers this service through its CreateSpace subsidiary, which you can find here at createspace.com, which also means that you can sell through Amazon itself. 
Another good site is lulu.com and there are several others. You can also use this method and then order some stock that you send yourself, although obviously this is less passive. Of course, you need to create the book as well, but this is just the same as creating the digital product. POD might normally refer to publishing, but the same basic process can apply to many other scenarios. For example, you can use something akin to POD when you use 3D printing. Here, you'll upload a 3D STL file or similar to a site like Shapeways, and they will then print out your cup holder, your ornament, or whatever else you created whenever someone orders it. You can also use printed t-shirts or mugs or caps, and you can do this through companies like Vistaprint or others that offer custom printing or corporate gifts. And yes, you can actually make a surprisingly successful business by selling printed shirts. Regular reselling is a very easy business model, even if it's not entirely passive. Usually, this will involve nothing more than choosing the product you want to sell, finding a wholesaler that will provide the product, and then order a batch of the items that you intend to sell, whether that's t-shirts, computer games, workout equipment, or anything else. You can keep the investment fairly small to begin with, as your business will take time to gain traction. Then, you'll just order more items each time you sell out. Because you should make around a 50% profit each time you do this, you can invest more money and buy more stock each time you successfully sell all of your items. And that means you can then order more and more each time, growing your business and increasing your profits. Of course, this isn't passive, though, because you need to order the items. You need to store them in your home or in a warehouse, and then you need to deliver them, which will all cost you money. But the simple answer to this problem is to either pay a company to handle your storage and delivery, and a lot of companies offer these services at scalable rates to suit small businesses, or you can hire staff. I knew a guy who paid his mum to handle his stock, which worked out well for everyone. 